It's finished in the Barclays Premier League. So I'm to nil, Manchester United nil. It was a dull game. In the first half, Southampton get a penalty kick. Handball by Bailly. Debatable whether or not it was inside or outside the box. Mike Dean gives it. Everybody knows by now that Mike Dean seems to have his own rules when he referees games rather than following his boss's rules. And it just shows the inconsistency of the referees. Gabaldini steps up, takes the penalty kick, no pace in it. Romero, Romero gets the, goes the right way. And if it does go to penalty kicks uh, next week in Stockholm, then he's capable of saving penalties for in the shootout if it gets if it gets if it if it gets there. The chance we had in the first half was via Eric Bay. Glide goes on the run, glides past two Southampton players. You'd expect Mikadarian or Rooney to do that. Not a defender like Bailly. Fraser Foster makes the save. Going into the second half, Romero's heroics kept us in the game. He made three or four great saves. Similar to David De Gea's performance at White Hart Lane last week. But David De Gea didn't keep a clean sheet, but did keep the scoreline down. And Romero uh, kept the scoreline down. No scoreline. Uh, but he kept a clean sheet, which is fairly positive for him. He'll be happy with that. Another chance we had in the second half was via Anthony Martial. Goes and hits the post. Game finishes 0 0. Our 15th draw of the Barclays Premier League season. That's not good enough. Whatever way you look at it. In Van Hal's first season, we accumulated 70 points. Now, if we beat Crystal Palace, we will, we will only be one point off Van Hal's total. So we can't go, we can't equal it and we can't go beyond it. And Mourinho was moaning before this game that we don't want to play in them. Well, you might brainwash most United fans, Mourinho, but you won't be doing it with me. I know exactly what your game is. And it was just really dull. Really dull. And nobody can say to me, oh, happy with sixth place. Because I'm not happy with it. And that's where we will now stay. There's places up for grabs for the um, Europa League final. Which I'll cover uh, a little bit more uh, in my review for the, after the Crystal Palace game. But in terms of the league season, it's not been great, has it? But... I think there'll be a lot of changes for the Crystal Palace game. So, yeah. it's basically it. So, I'll see you for the next review, uh, which will be Crystal Palace on Sunday. Bye for now.